Yo, 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 hey guys, it's Poppin' Jock Slade here. Back with another unboxing, and today we have a pretty cool unboxing for you guys. This is probably, I would say, one of the best collabs of 2020. And for those that know, you already know just from looking at the box. It's one of my favorite Christmas movies ever, and I'm super excited that Puma did this, especially since they did it on their brand new basketball sneaker, which I think, honestly, is one of, if not the best basketball sneaker of 2020. With that being said, let's just hop right into it. As you can see, the box comes dressed up in a very cool costume, uh, which is an elf costume. It has the elf branding there, it has the Puma there. Obviously, it has the belt. Um, this is just, like, the special boxes like these are just super dope to me. I love when brands take the storytelling and they continue it on to the box outside of the shoes and like stuff like this. This is for, I would say like the collector that has like a collection of shoes. So you see something like this and it automatically triggers something in your brain. It's just not your regular black and white Puma box that you can't really tell from the other ones. With this one, you know this is the Elf collab right off the top and they do it with the details obviously again with the outfit fit the elf there they have the elf and puma branding there and then you also see the elf and puma branding there but it does not stop there it is not just a box so for me i want a brand to do something more than just give me a colorway i want to have details within the shoe that really help tell the story obviously the box here helps a lot but when you open these up you see that they've even taken the extra step of including it on the paper as well so again for those that really love the design process and looking at all the details of a shoe when you open the box you have the paper here and on tissue paper it has the puma logo and then the elf logo so when you open it up it goes to the regular unboxing with the tissue paper and then you have the shoes which are crazy these are really really dope i love the details now for those of you that have never seen elf uh i'm gonna recommend that you see elf as soon as possible it's one of the funniest coolest and i would say heartwarming as well christmas movies that are out there and it's something that plays every year so by now you should have definitely seen it anyway so let's get to the kicks this is the all clyde pro uh this is the low top version there's also a high top version technically uh that looks a little that actually i wouldn't say a little bit different it looks a lot different and i actually really love the high top version as well let's get to these so here on the heel tab you see is like the biggest detail of them all which is the hat and also the spaghetti with syrup if you if you haven't seen it by now you should have definitely seen it by now uh in the main there's a scene in the movie where the main character puts syrup on top of spaghetti and like that's grossing me out right now just thinking about it but it's a very funny scene and for them to include that on the back of the shoes is pretty dope because it's a bit of a it's almost like it's like an iconic scene it's like one of the main scenes in the movie and it's something that people always remember when they talk about the movie uh for this pair they're adding a little bit of leather here on this heel tab which actually looks really really nice i was hoping that they would extend that leather to the form stripe but they didn't do it for this pair although it still looks really really clean and speaking of the upper obviously you see they have the white and the green they have the white form stripe here and then they have the black form stripe here and this material that they use on the upper is a new material that puma is using think of it as a different version of canvas it kind of feels like a canvas material but it's softer than that if that makes if that makes any sense at all moving on from the upper we have the midsole and you see that the midsole mixes the yellow and the green obviously going with his outfit when he left the north pole which i think is a very nice touch it looks very very cool then moving on to the tongue you have his full outfit right here on the tongue pool which is a really again these little small details help tell the story of the movie which i think is really really dope and that's it's better than just saying this is the colorway of this movie and just leaving it at that and not including the detail they include the details here which makes this a lot more special in my eyes you have the yellow laces you have the yellow outfit here with the green and then you have the puma there in the middle and then obviously the belt buckle and then they actually have the colors of candy canes 
on the insole, which is a very nice touch. It's just really like the whole Christmas vibe, you get it with these shoes. And I, I just think Puma did a really great job adding that there. Now, switching to some performance aspects of the shoe, this pattern Jeremy came up with based on some of the things that Clyde, Walt Clyde Frazier, who this shoe is actually inspired by. So these, this is inspired by some of the patterns that he wore. Now these are very light. I mentioned that when I originally unboxed the low pair and the high pair. And part of that is because he's cut out some of the bottom here. For people that don't know, a lot of the weight of a shoe comes from the rubber that is on the outsole. So in order to preserve some of that weight, I, I shouldn't say preserve, I should say get rid of. In order to get rid of some of that weight, Jeremy cut out sections of the outsole here and the rear. Now on the performance side, he has he has pro foam in here, he has P-backs, and he has a plate here at the front. You can't really see it, but on some of the drawings of the design, you can see that the plate extends up like this, and basically that gives you, again, that rigidity in the shoe to prevent your shoe from going back and forth or being easily going that way or easily going this way. This helps it snap back, so it gives you some resistance, but then snaps back as well. Then the final detail for these is actually on the inside, and they're actually glued down really well, so I wasn't able to tear them out to show you guys. But one says, bye buddy, hope you find your dad, Mr. Narwhal. So for those that are familiar with the movie, finding his dad is part of the movie and I won't ruin it for you on how that happens. On the other one, you see it says, raised by elves and it has the hat and then it has some feet and then it has the word raised by elves on the inside. So overall, I just think it's really cool, especially if you're a fan of the movie Elf. I think you'll definitely dig these. Something to add to your collection. Uh, it, it brings me back to a time when Christmas sneakers were a bigger thing in the sneaker world and this kind of brings back that vibe. You've seen a bunch of different like shoes come out near Christmas in the last couple of years and they've honestly been kind of like meh. But this one almost kind of re-energizes that feeling that I had about sneakers coming out during the Christmas time. I, I would love to see someone play in these in the NBA. I know the NBA comes back pretty soon. So hopefully Puma can get LaMelo Ball possibly to ball in these on Christmas day, or maybe have Kuz play in these on Christmas day. I'm not sure, but that's my hope. That's my thought that we'll see one of those rocking these on Christmas. Okay, so uh, for those that are looking to grab a pair of these, uh, you can grab them right now over at Dick's Sporting Goods. Uh, they're 130 bucks. Um, they're kind of corny, kind of cheesy at the end of the day, but I think that fits with the whole elf movie theme at the end of the day. So I like it. I like the vibes. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. As always, make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe. And as always, a big shout out to Puma and to Jeremy Saley uh, for creating one of, I would say, the dopest shoes of 2020. I think people are really going to be excited about this when it comes to basketball. Anyway, all right. With that being said, I'm out, y'all. Like, favorite, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And uh, I'm going to go put these on because I just like the whole vibe that I'm getting right now. All right, y'all. I'll see you soon. Peace.